thought, um, I better just get that looked after even though it's gone because it's unusual. And um, my doctor said I had a polyp on my cervix, but he couldn't dislodge it. He wanted me to see a gynecologist. In July, I saw the gynecologist and um, he took the polyp off and I thought, well, that's the end of it. But he said, I'll, I'll just do a scrape while I'm uh, here and I'll have the results in two weeks. I didn't think any more about it because I thought it was just a polyp, but he had bad news in two weeks. felt I was better looked after. The two nurses who looked after me, a day shift and night shift, compared information, they just carried on, they were a team, and I got totally good care. Uh, my doctor, uh, Fraser Fellows, I had utmost confidence in. I knew he would look after everything, and he did. So I was very, very pleased. It felt wonderful to, to be able to uh, have energy again. Uh, to do the things that I love, to go out with friends, go out for lunch and shopping, and to be able to uh, drive there, uh, spend the day and drive home. Uh, that took uh, a while, but I felt good about that, and to get back at golfing. And, uh, and this past winter, I was able to ski, which is my one great love. Um, and so just to have the energy to do all those things and know that I'm healthy again. That was good. I liked it. <laughs> you can't just say, I'll just wait and see what happens. You've got to act on it if you see something that's unusual. And even if it passes by, because uh, things could still be going on internally that you, you need to address. If I hadn't acted on it, I would have uh, been in a, a much worse situation. And um, I'm so glad that I did. And I want to get the word out to all women, especially that if they see any spotting and they're postmenopausal, they have to act on it because uh, that could save their life.